I'm standing here in front of the Ray Memorial Library. It's the town library of Franklin. And any story about the development of Dean College or Franklin itself would be incomplete without recognizing the role that the Ray family uh, played in uh, both helping Dean become a reality and also making this town what it is. Of course, this is, as many of you probably know, the nation's first public library. I'm flanked here by good old Ben Franklin, who was the uh, benefactor of the original collection, which um, still can be found in this um, building behind me today. Uh, when the town was born during the American Revolution, they wrote to Ben Franklin and asked for some money to buy a bell for the town hall. Very famous quote, Franklin responded, since being preferable to sound, I think I'd rather send a collection of books. So he wrote to a London book dealer and had a, um, had a shipment sent over here, and that became the beginning of the nation's first public library. It didn't always look as magnificent as this. The Ray family, uh, who were industrialists here in Franklin, uh, it was their wealth that made this beautiful building that you see, as well as a couple of other important landmarks around town, the fire station, a public school, the Ray Building, which um, across campus there was the original science building, and um, the mansions that uh, became acquired by Dean later, Ray House and Pierce House. So it was Civil War defense contracting, making blankets uh, and uniforms for Civil War soldiers that enriched the Ray family, and then they generously used that money to build Dean and build this town.